External references. I open a new file and here I want to attach a reference to a file that it was previously given to me. This one, project architecture. Imagine that I am a structural engineer and I want to draw here the structural plan. Or I could be an electrical technician and I want to draw electrical circuits there. So on my new file, I go to the insert tab and on the reference panel, this is the panel that controls references, click on this arrow to open the external reference palette. An alternative way is typing the command xref or external reference. At the moment, I just have here the current file. You can recognize it by the DWG icon. Then if I switch to project architecture, now you can see that the current file changes. It also has an additional element, which is an attached image. The details of each file you can check out on this part below. This is a JPG file. That image is the one that I added to the title block on the layout tabs here. Then, if I click on Cut in Black logo with the right button, I can detach the image in a load and you can see it disappearing. But I don't want to do it, so I click again with the right button and click on Reload. So, to attach here the file Project Architecture, I go to this icon, then I click on Attach DWG, select the file. In this window, I click again on OK or specify the insertion options that I want. At this moment, I'm not going to scale the reference, the option specify on screen is not ticked, and I specify the insertion point. If you remove the tick on this box, the base point will be on the coordinate specified below, and if it's 0, 0, 0, the base point will be on the origin. Click on OK and place now the base point where I want. I'm going to put the coordinates in the origin, so I type 0, Press Tab, 0 again, and press Enter. So here you can see the reference to the project architecture, and it's easy to recognize because it's darker than usual. At the File References list, you can see the new attached file, the DWG, the project architecture, and the image that was in that project is also shown here. And it appears with the name of the file first, and then the name of the image, the Cadim Black logo. However, sometimes for any reason, some of the files attached might not load because the program can't find the file. And even if you click on reload, nothing happens. So the solution for this is clicking on change path and search for the file on your computer. How to edit an external reference in a drawing. If I click on the image, you realize that everything is selected. I cannot select a line by line or, or an object by object. Also, on the ribbon, it shows up a new tab called External Reference. Here, I can create a clipping boundary on a part of the drawing and other options. Example, let's say in this project, I only want to show the floor plan below. I click on Create Clipping Boundary, then I select Rectangular, draw a rectangle around the drawing and the, all the other parts of the file just disappeared. I can also invert the part of the drawing that is showing by clicking on this grip. Now let's use a different clipping boundary. I'm going to click on Polygonal and it could be useful if in a different case I would like to select this drawing below or the drawing above and not the one in the middle. So, the purpose of using external references is to allow two or more people working in the same project. Now, let's suppose I have a specific task in this project. Look to the layer properties. Now they are a bit different as I'm using external references. 
on the filter section, I can choose which type of layers that I want to display. The layers on grey are from the external references. First you can see the file name and then the layer name. For example, at this moment I have all the layers shown on the screen. Now I switch to the all non-xref layers or I can see only the layers from the external reference. So it was everything for today. But this time before leaving, I want to mention that I just started a page of Patreon for Kelly Black. There you can support this channel to help me keep creating more content here. I would really appreciate that. Even of course, I'm already grateful that you find these videos available and that they are helping you to speed up your knowledge. Without your support, nothing of this would be possible. So, thank you very much for watching. See you next time.